Well, hello, I'm here to help you get started on lab seven, which is planetary atmospheres. So the ultimate goal of this lab is very similar to the lab six size up your solar system. You're gonna do a pre-experiment or data collection hypothesis about the chemistry composition of the various atmospheres for the specific planets that I have provided in the lab folder. Number two is you're going to actually describe the planetary atmospheric compositions by planet, and you're going to compare and contrast how they're different from one another using a chart, an Excel chart. If you don't know how to use an Excel program, it's part of Microsoft Word, which you get free from MCC with the Microsoft 365 suite. But if you don't have that, go to the course information syllabus folder, and I've provided a link where you can download that software free of charge. So basically, if you don't know how to use Excel, you can get a five minute tutorial simply by watching a YouTube video on how do I use Excel. And you're making a very raw data chart to look like this, to make a bar chart. That's all you're doing. So in this case, the student decided to itemize the gases on the x-axis, the percentage on the y-axis, and then they produced a color for each of the planets. That's totally fine. But the key is that it's all on one particular chart graph. And I'm going to ask that you use bar graphs like this, not ones that stack on top of each other or pie charts, because you want to see a good visual representation of the percentages of carbon dioxide, the other things that I ask you to look at, and the gases for these planets so you can visually see what they're high and what they're not high in. That is the goal with your graph and you'll copy and paste that into your document that you give me. So once you've done all the atmospheric chemistry, you put all that data and made a little chart, you're going to also tell me about the weather for each of these planets. Weather is directly correlated to atmospheres. So you need to give an overview of the type of weather that occurs, if any, on these planets. And some may surprise you. So that could be part of your hypothesis statement. Do you think that any of these planets don't have weather? You know, I would include that as part of what you're doing. And then your post hypothesis data is gonna take information like from this chart, and you're gonna say and compare it to what you initially thought. And you're gonna see if your initial hypothesis was correct, partially correct, completely incorrect. And you're gonna describe that. Again, it's okay if your hypothesis is wrong, because remember, scientific method is driven by data, so we don't change our post hypothesis simply because it didn't match what our data said. That is unethical. So we definitely use the data that we provided. That's enough for now for Lab 7. Get started and do your research.